Okie dokie. So we're going to be doing um, the outdoor scenes solo. And it's going to be level two solo for French horn. So I'm going to go, oh, I don't know. We're going to do like the first, eh, the first section. So the first five lines and a little. Uh, there are options to play things down an octave if you need to. Uh, so I'll do kind of both options. A couple things to think about. We got F sharps, B naturals. So making sure all of our Bs are trigger two and all of our Fs are second valve as well. Um, that's pretty much the weird things we've got going on. There is uh, some complex rhythms, dotted rhythms. Watch out in measure two of line four. Those three eighth notes tied together, that's not a triplet. It would be a triplet if it had the three, because it doesn't have the three, they're just eighth notes. So you go one, two, three, and four, and one. It's just weird when they group them like that. All right, I'm going to just try and play through the whole thing, this whole section, so you can hear what it sounds like, and then we'll break it apart in little sections. On Dante, boldly with freedom. So I'm going to go about 80. Yeah, actually let's go 70 just to make sure we've got the right notes, rhythms, and all that stuff. If I make a mistake, it's all right. Here we go. Being aware of articulation and dynamics is always a good thing. So I'm going to start right on measure two uh, and after the four clicks. One, two, three, four, five, two, I'm going to start right after the four clicks. One, two, three, four. this uh, that opening section has that very like fanfare like sound uh, and it has got a lot of different articulations you've got slurs staccato and accent so I'm gonna do the first line all right the first line One, two, three, four. First line, uh, it should be really grandiose, really like bold with freedom, like it says. The next line, similar idea. Um, I would just play that second measure with the staccatos. Get those intervals in your ear. Here 
we go. Second line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. And then um, we're going to go from the last measure of the second line into the third line. We'll play the whole third line. This section here is all smooth and, and it says dulce a tempo. Dulce meaning um, sweetly. So it should be nice and pretty. So just kind of uh, think about some of these intervals. Play this nice and slow so that you can really hear where all these notes are going. This is the right after the double bar on the second line. One, two, three, four. Two, Oops. Three. Here we go. Four. One. Two, three, Alright, so I'm gonna look at the first two measures of the third line. Just wanted to get those intervals uh, and then making sure that you get the low the F sh sharp second finger and the low B natural is also second finger let's do that again from the second line the last measure right after the double bar if I'm missing the E Just go over it slowly. Really hear those notes and those intervals, even if you had to do two measures at a time. All right, the fourth line, uh, let's play that. Now, this fourth line has those eighth notes leading up to the G, so that would sound like. That's pretty high. So, what I would do is instead of going up to the high G, I would go down. So I go. Oh, F sharp. So I take that whole measure down. So the one that's got the G, F sharp, and D, take it down an octave. So it sounds like this. That's one option uh, that would make it a little bit easier. And then same thing, the, yeah, let's, so let's play that fourth line with that change going down the octave. One, two, fourth line, three, so set. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, of the fourth line. The fifth line with all those weird triplets. This, uh, so the first measure of the fifth line, there's a breath mark. Right after the breath mark, that D up to the G, down an octave. So I'm gonna just bracket that so I remember to take that down. Um, and that will really help you. So that, the, that measure will sound like this. So making sure F sharp, second finger, again. Instead of the written version. Like, no one needs to do that. All right, so from the beginning of the fifth line, now those triplets, we've talked about triplets. So it's going to go da, da, dee. 
da 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 dee. Trip a lid one, three t ta one. We practice this. You can do it. Here we go. Fifth line. You know what? I think we should stop it there. Not at the next line because that doesn't make any sense. So after the fifth line, that's where you're pausing. And, and then you're going to jump down to the next part, the Allegro Bavisi. So that was all of part um, uh, part one of the solo help. So the first five lines. <laughs>